day out there. Here comes the blue sky. It's going to be lovely after our crazy weekend with those showers, heavy at times, windy conditions, power outages, thunderstorms. Much calmer today, 56 degrees in Seattle. There are a few sprinkles left in the Cascades of Snohomish County, King County, and then one or two drops of rain on the coast. We're just kind of murky on the ocean beaches. Otherwise, we're going to see some decent clearing and warm up a bit. By lunchtime, seeing sun from Chehalis all the way up to Everett, and the coast is thinning out as well. And then by the evening, maybe still some clouds up by the Canadian border in the north coast, but we're really going to see clearing throughout the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, which is great news because tonight's the full moon the full harvest moon and i saw it actually last night pretty darn bright already and then tomorrow evening look at that we stay sunny for the last day of summer and the first day of fall starts out with some clouds it's not going to be that bad we're really being treated to a pretty nice week upper 60s today for highs now normal 71 so a little below normal and our morning clouds give way to nice afternoon sunshine on the coast morning clouds a little sprinkle out there this morning and then mostly sunny topping out of the low 60s over the Cascades, about 58 for Snoqualmie Pass today. Morning showers, they're giving way to afternoon sunshine like any minute now. Freezing level 10,000 feet. On the other side, pure sunshine for Wenatchee today. The smoke is really tamped down thanks to the precipitation and the cooler temps over the weekend. Yay! Still some fires burning, though. Hopefully they don't, like, roar back up again. 67 today, sunny and 74 tomorrow for the last day of summer. And the first day of fall will feel like fall. Partly sunny, 69 for the high with a slight chance of a morning shower. Seven day forecast coming up, but first it's Mountain Monday. Mountain here with a nice lenticular cloud on top from Robert on Anderson Island. And I'm curious to see, see all the, you can see all the, the rock there. I'm curious to see how much snow the mountains are going to have on top of them after the precipitation we had over the weekend. Alrighty, Adam, how are the roads looking right now? Bill's still checking out, unfortunately, southbound 405.